Hey everyone, this is Nathan with Bear Creek Arsenal and today we are showing you one of our pistol fixtures that we uh, put our barrels in. We just got this new one. We have been using a different style. This one's a lot more accurate and a lot easier to use. Uh, now we can loosen up the bolts, change our barrel types. You can shoot our Glocks or 1911 and um, this process allows us to get the most accuracy out of our barrels. Since we strive for accuracy here, having something like this helps us dial everything in even more. We have it fully set up. I'll show you a few rounds on how this app operates, and then we'll put the camera down range and shoot a few rounds in, into the target and show you how accurate our barrels are with this new setup. We decided to show this one first. Uh, the sound back there is kind of weird, so we instead of having all the ambient noises, the shots and the, s the sounds from the fan and the lights, we just dis t decided to take those out and you also increase the video uh, four times faster so you're not sitting there watching slow shots. Hey everyone, we have our pistol barrel vise here. Uh, the fixture itself is pretty simple. We have uh, the vise on the barrel. This is a way for you to basically break open the action your firing, uh, this holds your firing pin, your controller. It's pneumatic, which is nice. It's just, I hit the button and it fires. We'll fire five rounds through it real fast, show you how it operates. It's pretty simple. I'll do a three, two, one, and I'll hit the button. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started with these five rounds. So it's pretty simple to load. Slide the bullet into the barrel, close it. Three, two, one, and just like that. And you can break it open, pull the round out, and go to the next one. Now this style system is a lot better than the last one because the last vise we had, the pistol had to be in the vise with the barrel inside of it. So you had the polymer on the upper and then you had the barrel inside the upper. So there's a lot of different parts. This one drains it all down to the barrel so we can dial everything in a lot easier without as much variation in the testing. Three, two, one. So going forward, we can go with the new calibers. Uh, if we, whatever new caliber we go with, we can dial in the twist rates and see which one has the best uh, variations on the barrel. Because one one twist rate might be great for one particular bullet, but if a, a large range of bullets, you want to find the one that works the best with all of them. So that way, having something like this in the testing phase, we can throw three or four different twist rates out there, try them, see how it operates, and go from there. Three, two, one. The particular barrel we are testing right now is a 23 conversion barrel, so we're shooting the nines through it. And it's, with this style setup, a lot more accurate than our old vice. Three, two, one. And in turn, a lot easier to use. The last one to change cal to change the lower was a five minute process. This two bolts, just pull it out, put the new one in, and you're good to go. This is our last one. Three, two, one. And that was it. Five rounds from this barrel fixture. And it's it's on point. It takes away a lot of the aspects of uh, variation since it's right on the barrel. And going forward, you, you'll see a lot more use out of this. I'll actually you probably do a weekly series with this particular setup. We'll go through our different barrel types we currently offer, the 9mm, the 40s, the 357 SIG, even our 1911 barrels. Each week we'll do a different barrel, run some different ammo types through it, show you the accuracy results and that way you can kind of see how everything works out in, on each of our barrels with the weights, with the twist rate we currently have. This has been Nathan from Bear Creek Arsenal. Thank you for watching.